Hi, this is Gretchen, and I'm going to talk to you about importing and organizing my files in Lightroom 4. So I have already plugged in my um, S my uh, CF card, and I've plugged in my external hard drive for backing up my files. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to import my photos and videos, and it's going to pull up all my sources and I'm going to select the CF card which is right here and it's going to see what is on my CF card we've got quite a few images on there so I'm not going to load them all right now just to save a little time I'm just going to load these ones from the library so I'm going to uncheck them all and I'm going to select them by picking the first one in the series going down to the last one in the series and pushing shift click that selects them all and then I'll click the box and that checks them the ones I have selected and I'm gonna go ahead um, before I import them though I want to go ahead and make a second copy the F drive is my external hard drive if you want to put them in a specific folder in the F drive then you're gonna want to um, set up that folder before you import when you rename the files, you can rename them however you want. You can rename them. Uh, there's all these different uh, ways you can name them, or you can edit that, and then you can set up a special way to name it. I have a bunch of custom names, and currently in February, I am choosing February 2013 as the custom text. And then apply during import. I choose not to de apply any develop settings, but you can apply whatever you want if you have a specific develop setting that you want. Those are basically like your presets. And then the metadata, I already talked about it in another video. You can apply a metadata preset. So I'm going to apply Gretchen Willis Photography. If you have any keywords, you can apply them now. It just makes it a lot easier down the road. Um, and so maybe for this set, since she's at the library, I might apply that pre that keyword library. I might apply um, my kids' names. My kids' names are Mara and Amy, and it's a lifestyle shoot. So maybe those are the keywords I'd enter. And then when you send them into Lightroom, you want to put them in the correct folder. Okay, so you're going to have all these folders, and for example, under, there's Gretchen, that's the user, so you see there's tons of folders here. I'm going to go down to My Pictures, and you need to correct, find the correct folder under My Pictures that you want to import it into. See, look at all those folders I have. So if I choose on, this is where I've been keeping my images, New Imports of 2013 and February okay and if you don't already have a folder set up you just choose whatever parent folder you want to put it in and then you can click into subfolder and it will you can type in the folder that you want to put it into okay just I'll show you how to do this like let's just say I want to put this in library and I'm going to organize them into one folder I usually don't do it by date because then if I upload images 12 different days and I'm gonna have 12 different subfolders that's a lot of subfolders so I'm gonna organize it into one folder and you can see here that when they come into the folder for February here's the little subfolder down here that they're gonna get put into because I've created it above so let's go ahead and import them and you're gonna see what it looks like I'm gonna pause the video briefly while they import Okay, and so now I've imported all my images, and you can see them there. And um, you can see how all the images have all the metadata on them, and they have keywords in them. So the keywords are way up here. There's my keywords. So that's how you import images, and I just wanted to give you a few tips on how to do that. Thanks.